Lesson 1 Organisms and Surroundings 28-2024 Today we selected a water lily pond for environmental observation. We travelled along the edge of the paddy field and reached the bank of the pond. From the shade of a tree on the bank, we observed the pond. The water was crystal clear. Water lilies were in full bloom. We noticed various aquatic plants, mosses and fallen leaves on the water. Grasses, vines and shrubs were growing along the bank of the pond. There were birds, squirrels, chameleons, spiders, ants and other small organisms on the jamun tree near the pond. There was plenty of fish in the pond. They occasionally came to the surface and opened their mouths. Frogs, tadpoles, crabs, snails, water snakes and other aquatic organisms were also the inhabitants of the water lily pond. We played by throwing small stones into the pond, creating ripples. We spent a lot of time enjoying the coolness of the pond. Did you read Raina's observation notes? Yes. Which organisms did you see in the pond? Fish, frog, tadpole, crab, snail, water snake. Which organisms lived on the tree? Birds, squirrel, chameleon, spider, ants. Do all organisms need a place to live? Yes. Can organisms that live in water also live on land? Yes. Why can't fish live on land? Fish can't live on land because they have different adaptation. What special features have you observed in fish that help them live in water? Port like shape, fins helps to swim in water, slimy body helps in gliding, tightly arranged scales, eyes on both sides of the head. Let's draw the picture of a fish. So you can join the dots and draw the picture of the fish. What is the shape of the fish? Boat like shape. How does this shape help the fish move in water? The boat like shape with both ends pointed enables the fish to move through the water. Observe the shape of the boats. Which of these shapes is more suitable for travelling through water? Boat in the first picture. Have you noticed how fish move in water? Yes. How do they change their direction? Fins and their slippery body will help them to change their directions. How are their scales arranged? Their scales are tightly arranged. Which part of their body helps them breathe? Gills. What are the special features that help the fish live in water? The body shape, fins, tail fin, Arrangement of scales and slippery nature of fish 
help them move through water. Fish breed with the help of gills. You have understood the shape and features of fish. Now, let us get to know the features of some plants too. Observe the pictures. So, the first picture is a cactus. The second picture is an agave. What are the special features of these plants? These plants have spines, it is succulent, it has rosita of leaves. What is special about their stem? The stems of both plants are specially adapted for storing water. What makes them different from other plants? Discuss and write in my environmental science diary. They store water in their stems. They are well adapted to live in dry environments. Plants of the Desert Zero Fights Desert plants may have no leaves or have small leaves or thorns. Their stems are thick, green and can store water. A waxy coating on their stem helps them prevent water loss. The deep roots of these plants absorb water from great depths. Such desert plants are known as zero fights. All these features enable them to survive in desert. Adaptation Plants and animals have body features that help them survive in their specific environments. Any body feature that helps an organism survive it in its environment is called adaptation. We float in water with the help of air sacs in our stem. We can swim in water as our fingers are connected with skin. Have you listened to the conversation between the water lily and the frog? Yes. Discuss and write more about their adaptations. Water lily. They do not decay in water. Strong root system. Frog. Slippery body. The limbs help it to hop on the land. Observe the pictures. Where do these animals sleep? Goat land, prawn water, tortoise land and water. Write the names of other animals you are familiar with and complete the table. Animals live on land. Squirrel, cat, elephant, cow. Animals live in water. Fish, dolphin, octopus, whale. Animals live on land and water. Frog, crocodile, seal, crab. Analyze the information in the above table. Record your inference in my environmental science diary. There are animals that live only on land, animals that live only in water, and animals that live on land and water. Animals live also in deserts and polar regions. What are their adaptations? The fat in our hump helps us to survive in the desert for days without drinking water. The fat under our skin protects us from the extreme cold in the polar regions. Find other adaptations of camel and penguin. 
discuss with your friends and write them in the table camel long eyelashes to protect from sand and dust thick skin and fur that regulates body temperature white pads on their feet to distribute their weight evenly and walk on sand without sinking penguin webbed feet helps in swimming streamed lined bodies that help them swim fast flippers help to propel themselves through the water thank you please like share and subscribe my channel for more updates